think there was um, five minutes for myself. I, I, I think. Uh, well, five minutes is down here between you, unless someone has. That, that's what I'm being informed. Five minutes yeah. between us. Yeah. Okay. Right. I, well, I, I was led to believe it was otherwise, um, but certainly I'm, I'm not surprised that Fine Gael aren't going to uh, support this motion because certainly. Um, they are not in touch with the ordinary people out there who rely on, on, on pensions such as, as um, the contribution pension that we're talking about and, and the grave inequalities that have been brought about um, and it's noticeable in their absence that the Labour Party who introduced these uh, pension reforms back in 2012 haven't even appeared in the chamber here nor indeed participated within uh, this actual uh, debate. Um, the motion it will be voted on tomorrow in the chamber. And there was an awful lot of talk, particularly from Fianna Fáil here, um, and it is also noticeable in their absence in, in the amendment that they have tabled. They spoke an awful lot about the gender gap. They spoke about it yesterday in the Shannon, uh, the 37% uh, gender gap that exists. They have spoke about it time and time again, and yet the amendment that they have brought forward uh, to the Sinn Féin um, motion doesn't address that issue at all. Sinn Féin, we have provided funding in our pre-budget submission, fully costed by the Department. There was £50 million there to reintroduce the, uh, the, the state transition pension and also £78 million to bring back the bans to the 2012 levels. If we are serious here about ending the injustices that many members of, of this chamber have spoken about. Now is the opportune time to do so, and I urge, urge all members to do so. I will c conclude, uh, Cahirla, by thanking all the deputies who have co-signed uh, this motion, because many have outlined the numbers of people coming through their constituency offices on a daily, on a weekly basis, and the difficulties that they're experiencing, the difficulties facing 65-year-olds who have worked 50 years um, and more in some cases, um, only to be told that you have to go and sign on for job seekers. It is totally wrong, it is totally unfair, it is totally inequitable, and I'm urging all parties to unite behind this motion and to support uh, the Sinn Féin uh, motion. Thank you, Deputy Brady. And sorry about that, but with five minutes. Thank you. That concludes the, the debate. At this point, I'm going to put the, minister, the government's amendment, so I, th that the amendment be made. Those in favour of the questions, Okay. So that goes into Thursday to the usual time and we're going to move on now to the planning.